is going on elite game spot crew we are back at it again on the road where are we going international championships on oh, bear grills <laughs> i'm gonna drink my own piss for nationals <laughs> and it's in ohio going to ohio on our way to the airport all right guys we just got through uh tsa how was that grayson i don't know you don't know was that easy or was that a pain in the butt easy all right cool so it wasn't too bad they didn't like flag flag our bag i think they took a second to look at the images or whatever but i know sometimes pokemon cards get flagged but we're good we're good to go it is currently 10 57 and we have basically an hour <laughs> to kill now so love the small air forces and take take forever to get through so it'll be com a completely different story when we get to Chicago. So we have a layover, Chicago. What? It's Bigfoot. It's Asher and Asher. <laughs> Good job. What's up? It is. So anyway, we have a layover in Chicago and then we will get to Ohio at about 10 30 in the morning i believe staying with some friends we will update you when we get there so we don't have a huge delay but we've got a 14 minute delay in here so just enough time for some pokemon so uh no we won't record a, the whole match but just tell us about your deck race and what you're gonna run Palkia. you're gonna run alkia and what's big brother asher running i'm running some fluffy sheep some, some fluffy sheep okay and a llama fluffy sheeps Fat rats and a llama. All right, Grayson's gonna be running these Sobble sleeves right now, but we're gonna get it decked up in some better sleeves for the tournament here. Um, Asher is just playtesting with Grayson, and you were running Gengar. Yeah, he was gonna run Fusion, but honestly, it's just at the bottom of the bag, and uh, it's too big of a pain in the butt to get to right now. Sorry, honey, but fortunately it's only like 6 a.m. and they are closed. Otherwise, you know, I would be stopping in there. Crazy seeing all the different people. You have like half the people groggy and miserable because they're up this early or exhausted because you know, they had a long night like we did. And other people just bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and excited to start today. So, we have officially landed in Columbus. What was that? I'm tired. Oh, I'm exhausted. Both of those guys fell asleep on the second plane flight. Um, for the whole flight i fell asleep for maybe 20 minutes and so i got about 20 minutes of sleep all night long so that was fun it was not my intention i wanted to fall asleep on the first flight and that did not happen in the slightest so i got about 20 20 minute nap so hopefully we can sleep we're going to a friend's house so we don't have to get a hotel um or an airbnb like we did last time we will be staying with friends um never been there before though there are friends that used to live out with over by us in oregon and they now live in ohio and uh, obviously because that's where we are the brain not working um but uh, anyway we should have a good time and uh, we'll update you in a minute all right so we are on the road in all places ohio and we're talking about all the great things you can do 
here and Asher asks his good buddy AJ, hey AJ, what's up? What do you like to do for fun or what do you do? I sit in my room. And he sits in his room! So we're gonna show you his room, which is one of the funnest places in Ohio! <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's a Hardee's. I've heard of it before, but I've never actually seen a Hardee's sign. That's awesome. That's kind of cool. This is in the convention center. That's sweet. A little, just a little tired, big old yawn. How you doing, Ashley? I'm you doing good. good. Got some rest. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to check out the Pokemon Center. They have some cool looking playmats over there. I want to spend money in the corner. Sounds very fun. That sounds fun. So we just got all checked in. Asher, look at check, check out the promo. Can you put it right set up? There we go. So that's our promo. And uh, all our little bag of goodies, all sorts of good stuff. We'll go over that later. Was that quick and painless, buddy? Yep. And then we got AJ spectating with us. Yeah, oh, he's good. So I got my spectator badge. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get a last minute sign up like I was hoping. Asher's got his competitor badge. Grayson's got his competitor badge. Oh, and there we go, we're styling. Let's go. All right, they gave out this uh, sweet hat too, so Grayson's gonna be sporting that. Sporting the hat, let's go. That's a giant pit flop, dude. Yeah, no, go. Go check him out. Crazy huge. All right, so we just checked out on the little Pokemon Center store there, and we just got a ton of loot, which is crazy. We'll do a we'll do a follow up video on that and show you all what we got here a little bit later. This is pretty sick though, huh? You got the sun like right in your face. I'll move into the darkness. Into the darkness. Let's go. So, we are official. Oh, uh, gray. Oh, gray, gray. Hello, Grayson. All right, turn around, show off your backpack. Oh, there you go, you're good. Okay. Um, how much is this? One dollar. Okay, grab me one regular. Um, now let's go into the trade. 
Christmas. Would you have bought this even if I said no? No, he wouldn't have. If you said no, I wouldn't have bought it. It's going to be 30 bucks. So the, the question was, if he buys that energy, will he make day two? Yes. He answered yes. Yes, yes of course. Yes, of course. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. Okay, yeah, you're definitely making day two. The card's in the side. Do you want a receipt? Uh, Alright, so obviously you guys can see we're leaving the convention center. Um, convention center, beautiful, neat, like sparkling. Every convention center bathroom I've ever been at before, sparkling, clean, neat. Maybe have one stall where someone did something gross and then you gotta wait for someone to clean it. Three different bathrooms. Every single stall absolutely atrocious disgusting smells bad and i don't know if you guys noticed everything i don't know much about plexus uh, apparently looks like a health mlm of some sort but apparently that's messing with people's stomachs because the entire <laughs> freaking convention center every single bathroom just disgusting like we're talking like toilets disgusting poo on the floor People not able to make it here in the bathroom, like every bathroom, people people are doing their business. But this was just excessive. And the only common thread was all the plexus stuff everywhere. You knew them <laughs> I, I think so. I think that I think that's the Join what us. we learned today. Join us in the fight against Plexus and their crappy business marketing schemes. Right. And then, sell more bathrooms. And then the funny part too, we were like underneath all this plumbing. And when we first pulled up, we're like, oh, what's that smell? And you could just hear like all the toilets being flushed. It was, you know, kind of gross. And Pokemon Go pack, what was that? You just got one pack randomly? It was one pack randomly. One Japanese so Pokemon Go pack? A Wimpod, a Numo, a Pheasant, uh, what's his name? Spark, Spark. And a Mewtwo V. I thought that was gonna be an Ulta or something. I saw something cool. Ooh, hollow water energy. Oh, that's what I saw was this. It has a code for something. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And this is the nicest Taco Bell on the planet, I think. I can play you in just a second. So Grayson's amping to go. Um, so real quick, so this is what uh, you get in your little kit. Anyway, this is what you get uh, on your little kit from NAIC. Uh, so this is Grayson's competitor play mat, which is really cool. Um, it comes with the deck box, the, not one, but like two uh, deck sleeves, pretty cool. And uh, this really cool uh, North American pin. And then Grayson also got this little hat, which is pretty awesome. You guys saw that earlier. Um, and then these were the playmats that you could buy there. So we picked up a few of those. It's pretty cool. And then Grayson's waiting to go head to head and get some playtesting in. Yep. yep. All right. It is time for EGS Sleepy Time Vlogs. I am currently in my hoodie and outfit nice and laid out. We got the competitor badge right there. We're ready to take off. I'm very tired. Very amazing breakfast prepared by Mr. Early Light. Play mat. Testing some hands with my deck, dog. Making sure we all ready to go. We, we all got the brain juice for the international. Gonna go and pair against Drew later, which, trust me, will happen. That was supposed to be cool. It didn't end up being cool. I sound because I'm tired and allergies in Ohio are apparently really strong. Like as soon as we landed here, it was just <sighs> dual mat dragon shield sleeves. We have the Pikachu deck box. And we have these amazing tops. Look at this. Amazing tops, Asher trading cards. So if you're one of my Loki opponents today, you'll be rich. fantastic Easter You're welcome. What's up, little Grayson? You look a little tired, buddy. 
little jet lagged. Got sleep all night long and he's still exhausted. Ooh. He doesn't play till tomorrow though, so he's good, man. Juniors don't play till tomorrow. So high five, man. We're good. Get some rest today. Ugh. All right, morning of, man. How you feeling? I'm feeling very fantastic. Very, very fantastic. Dumb, but I'm not gonna let that stop me from doing well. <laughs> you, want, you want that in the vlog? Yes. Okay, well, you might, we're here early. You use the restroom if the Plexus people haven't used it first. I think oh, you're fine. But I bet you, like, all the Plexus people have already ran to the bathroom. Yeah, so you're probably good. You see the pipes are leaking everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, you know. I'll play. Ah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I am recording my own separate part of the vlog here. So we're here at the Greater Columbus Convention Center for the Plexus event. I'm so excited. I, I seriously cannot wait to see all my amazing fellow Plexus sponsors. Gotta sell at least 200 cases by end of the day to other Pokemon players, but you know how that grind go, that hustle, gotta respect it. But yeah, speaking of respecting things, I'm not respecting Fusion. And Drew Kennett said he hates my deck because of that very reason. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But to be fair, Drew Kennett also hated Gengar Arceus, and that is what won him the regional event. So. Not horrible looking people, but uh, their britches are all brown. <laughs> They've gotta be, right? Ash is taking the stairs like a bro. We're taking the escalator because we're late tired. Mm -hmm. uh, checking out the line to get into an AIC. We're just walking, walking, walking. Like, where are all these Pokemon people walking the opposite direction? Because uh, they're in line. So we're just walking to the end of the line currently. And now we're going back the other direction. That was fun. We line led all the way back around. And then we're gonna go outside and all the way around.
right, round one on the stream is finished up. That was a quick game on stream. Tons of people still playing the round ones. Asher's over there. Hopefully he's doing well. What do you think, buddy? This place is cool. This place is cool. <laughs> Finished round one and ended up taking the dub against one of the nicest Reggie players I have ever gone against. Um, obviously a super bad matchup for him, but uh, yeah, no, super great. Hopefully, for one hour right now, continue the streak. I forgot to do it earlier in the other part of the convention center. But right now, we're going to stick to Plexus area with AJ for lunch. Say hi, AJ. No, I'm done. Multi-level marketing pyramid schemes. Um, ended up, I'm kidding with my bag. Ended up winning third match against a Max Rarity Turbo Dark. Very beautiful deck. I liked it a lot. Um, it was a fun match. Uh, I lost against Fusion. I don't know if I recorded that part already, but talking about it anyways. And I realized that my camera angle is very bad, so like you did it out might not. But anyways, getting lunch, Subway, and then on to round four. Grayson's playing side events. He got enough tickets to redeem a prize. He took a hat, so he's got a brand new Litton hat. And he had 10 tickets left over, which got him a Astral Radiance Pokemon pack. Let's see what you got, buddy. Let's see. It's Grayson's time. We're table 886, buddy. Yeah. So you're at 886. Good luck to you, kiddo. Day two looks a lot different. Day two is a lot emptier. What was once full is now almost entirely empty. A little dramatic, but you get the gist. Grayson's doing his round. Masters is in the top cut of day two. How many players are in day two? 64. 64, okay. So 64 players in day two. We're walking down to side events to see if there's anything that we want to win. Um, I was able to help Grayson win a hat yesterday, which was pretty cool. We'll see if there's anything worth playing for. 
here is the prize wall. You do not have to be in the tournament. You can compete in these as a spectator. So even if you're not super competitive and you want to come to one of these and you want a chance to win some prizes, you can run some side events. They're best of one side events and you can win you know, all sorts of little goodies. So you can earn tickets and it's just like a arcade type of uh, system where you earn tickets and cash them in for different prizes and stuff, which is kind of cool. All sorts of little Pokemon pins and play mats and stuff. All the way up to more expensive items. Just play bigger events, I guess. So Grayson just finished his first round. Unfortunately, he did not get the win, but he had fun and it was cool. Right, dude? Yeah. So who, what uh, deck did you play against? Mirror match. A mirror match. Ooh, how was that? Was that fun? Yes. Yeah. That's so hard because I don't know what to do against a mirror match because I haven't played so he tested against, against it. it. That's exactly what Asher was saying. What a bummer sauce. Fun little quick story for you. So, no wristband. So, Grayson was thirsty, and so he was done with his water. We were in the tournament. So, I went to go get him some water. Uh, couldn't find Asher, so Grayson tagged along with me. It's about 20 steps outside the door to the vending machine to grab a water. So, grab said water. Uh, walked back in and Grayson didn't have his wristband. They noticed at the door he didn't have his wristband. And I'm like, what happened to your wristband? He's like, I don't know. So, obviously, it was too loose and just fell off. So the guy at the door is like, okay, we'll go over there and they should be able to get your replacement. So we go over to the um, entry to go quote unquote get a replacement. Um, they refused to give him a replacement even though he's in the middle of a match playing um and so i'm like okay well what the hell do we do one of the judges over there uh that i knew was just kind of like okay well hands were tied but it like kind of sucks i feel and i'm like that doesn't make any sense they're like yeah we need you know if it broke or something we need the broken one to be able to replace it we're just not going to replace it i'm like seriously so i literally right in front of them snapped it off of my wrist and said oh look i found it they let my eight-year-old son in there because uh, Asher is in there so I told him Asher was in there to help so they let him in and I'm stuck outside without a wristband I'm like it's not possible that uh, your people accidentally put the uh, wristband on too loose so what do you do in that situation so we're just kind of stuck so yeah great. Oh, you want to be on camera for the vlog? Hey. So, hey, what's up, Where's man? What's, what, what, where's here? What's your name? I'm Chuck. I'm from Chuck. Cleveland. I'm traveling. Oh, wait, there you go, oh, man. <laughs> so we're from Oregon. And this is this is for the vlog hey. for our YouTube channel. So Elite Games, if you find us, you, you'll see yourself. I'll put you on there. <laughs> All right, man. Um, but anyway, uh, fortunately, I don't really have much to do um, other than sit around and wait. I've already played inside events. I'm not competing. I'm good to go. But. If I didn't do that, they were just not going to let him back in. Uh, so it's kind of ridiculous. So, stuck outside. Super fun. Grayson just finished. What round was that, bud? Um, I don't know what round it was. <laughs> I think that would be round five. How'd you do? Um, I'm pretty sure I... Wait, yeah, he scooped. You scooped, so you won? Yeah. Yeah, so he ended up taking the win there. And so what's your record? Um, two losses, two, two draws, and then one win. Yep, so you're one, two, two. So how are you feeling right now, bud? Good. Good. You have an enjoying, you enjoy any deck? Yes. All right, that's good, good to hear. All right, you ready to win the next one? Yes. High five. He's starting his next round right there. Back check on him here a little bit. But how did your last round go? Um, I lost by a boss's orders. You lost by a boss's orders? Against what deck? 
You? Aww. This is a good matchup for me. Good matchup for you. It's okay, you still played well, right? High five. Yes. Alright, and then what you we gonna play your next round? Last round of the day? I don't know what I'm gonna play. Yeah, it's the last round of the day. Alright? You gonna do good? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, for the rest of the day. Yeah. No more plexus. Went away super fast. Looks like a normal convention center now. Much better, much cleaner, much nicer. Hey, you guys want to know what? Bathrooms are also clean and in working order. Coincidence? I think not. So these are fire flowers. I wish you got one. Grayson got one. Oh, right there. You want to put them in the jar? Yeah. 